Alright guys, what's up? It's the K50. And today we're going to be starting a new series. It's going to be called Destiny Theories. I'm just going to do a quick uh, test of this. See if anybody likes it. So today we're going to be doing the Vault of Glass. Alright, so basically I'm going to give you guys a background about the Vault of Glass. So the first person to realize what the Vault of Glass really was, was Kaber. And he's a Titan and brought a basically a raid team of about six or five people into the water glass so there are many theories about what happened to his team but there was the main theory and here's i'll just give you guys the team there was caber obviously which is the titan praetith which is a warlock pahanin which is a hunter osiris which is a warlock and tolan which is a warlock now all of these people that i've just named other than praetith are uh they have exotic bounty weapons you know such as osiris tolan and pahanin now praetith does have a weapon in the raid praetith revenge and uh so does caber but we'll uh, get to that later all right now here's what happened in the vault of glass first thing that happened was caber somehow figured out how to get into the vault you know how like we have the pressure plate or the plates that we sent on to open up the vault so his, his and his team ventured in to find the Templar. So the Templar and the Oracles have a power basically to define people as real or not real. So basically they go back in time and they make you so you never existed. So they basically do this to the rest of Kaver's team except for him. And then Kaver somehow manages to get away and finds the Gorgon Maze. Now the Gorgons are these basically they're like harpies but they're kind of glowing and they have the same power as the templars or the oracles where they can define if you exist or not now some people uh, kind of theorize how we got away but i think it was through the secret path that you use when you kill the templar without him teleporting now after he finds the gorgons and everything he becomes fascinated with them starts to kill them and fashions his own armor out of them. Now this is the armor that you get in the raid. As you can see, uh, it looks a lot like a Vex. Alright, and in a last dense attempt to help anyone who came to find him, he makes a shield fashioned from the Gorgon's head called the Aegis, which is what you use when you first, you first see it when you fight the Templar, and then later on you use it to fight Atheon. Now, basically, the way he made it was by sacrificing his own light into the Gorgon's head. Now, somehow, uh, Pahanin Arata sees the fall of Kaber, and basically, after you know he sees him die, he needs to find a way out now. Now, this is when Pahanin creates Super Good Device, the exotic machine gun, which apparently speaks to him, so it lets him and others know that he still exists. So, because of this, he can't be erased from existence by Templars or Gorgons and anything. And then after that, Pahanin makes it out of the vault and tells the city of Kaira's story. So basically this is just the base of what happened or why we're now going into the Vault of Glass. Alright, so that's about it for today. And I'll see you guys later.